do have this uh, TV in the shop. It's a uh, OLED 65C7P. This is the newer uh, TV. As the customer said, this is like 2000. Yeah, you can see it over there. He got it like late 2018. So the TV is not that old, but it's just out of warranty. So he said just the TV stopped working and uh, should I to fix it? Should I to save this uh, newer TV? So already I removed the back cover and we do have the, the power board, the display board. This model doesn't have the, the backlight. This is the main board. So let's test uh, some uh, voltage here. You hear the TV turns on. 20 volt. And we need the 12 volt. I think it's this pan here. Yeah, we have the 12 volt. And we go here. We have 21 volt. And the TV goes off. So the TV turns on, stay for a couple seconds, then goes off. So let me turn it on again. Yeah, the TV is on now. Here we're uh, supposed to be 20 volt here. I have nothing in these pins. Yeah, I do have nothing in this. I don't have the 20 volt here. So the TV goes off now again. Well, the CPU doesn't get very hot. Yeah, we have the voltage, but the voltage is dropped and the TV goes off. But the TV, when it turns on, the screen it stays uh, black. It doesn't show no display, nothing. Then the yeah, TV goes off. I may go, like I'm going to look at this board. T-Con board or uh, display board. This fuse is open. This is good fuse. This is bad fuse. This is a 24 volt, this is a 12 volt. So let's see if this, yeah, the other side of the fuse is grounded. There is a search to this uh, side of the fuse. That's why the fuse burn to save the power board. So like, uh, like you did see, I did check the power board. We have the 12 volt, we have 24 volt, but uh, the TV shut down uh, quick. So, so from this fuse, we have these capacitors here. This is the ground side, and this is supposed to be the 12 volt, but this is grounded as well. And from here, It's go to these capacitors. This mean it's the same. These capacitors are going to be searched as well. So let's, uh, yeah, the capacitors are tested, searched, but we don't know if they are searched or. Uh, let's see. What I'm going to do? I'm going to inject some power. So I set up. Uh, I set up the power supply at. Uh, 2.5 volt and the maximum I think is uh, is about like 1.5 amp yeah so always start with the low uh, voltage low amp 
Then, if we still cannot find the, the shirt, we're gonna put a little bit more voltage. So. Then I'm gonna start checking if any part is getting hot. So from that side we have these uh, capacitors. Yeah, something is getting hot in these three capacitors. You know what? Let me show you the. the so we're going to use the thermal imaging camera. This is uh, Flare One or Flare Pro. I'm going to show you the model of this one in case if you want one. In case if you want to, to buy an, uh, one like this one. Alright, so let's turn on the power supply. I think this is good. So you see that spot over there? So let's check the other side. Must be this tree. Yeah, it was getting warm here, but it's the other side of the board. So here, let's do it again. Here, you see that spot is getting clear now. That's the one is causing the shirt. Let's look if there is anything else. No, mostly that's the spot. And I can see this the first capacitor. Let me show you. Yeah, it was showing clear in the in the thermal imaging camera. That is the first capacitor. Alright, this is the model number. Is a Flare uh, One Pro. Is a zero 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 seven. And let's use the alcohol uh, way. So let's watch closely here which one is gonna start getting you see this capacitor let's try again yep that's the capacitor so I'm gonna remove that one and check if the shirt is uh, gonna be gone if that's the shirted one or something else The shirt is gone. All right, where by the fuse? No more shirt. Yep, this capacitor is short. Let me try to find another replacement capacitor.
yeah this fuse here is burned so let's try to find another one I got the fuse from this uh, inverter board is a H amp for radiant storage this is the fuse and this is the capacitor that I changed so let's put it in the TV and we'll test it and see if that's going to fix the problem. So I put the board in the place, all the cables. And let me turn on the switch. Yep, the TV is turning on. Taking about like 50 watt. Uh, still didn't see nothing on the screen. No, nope. we have some display here. All right. Yep, the screen works. Yeah, we get this TV fixed. Here it was supposed to be 24 volt. Switch over there. And this side here is supposed to be 12 volt. It's over there. So it's good.